Portland will be your new home. Life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> Before an outlaw leader by the name of Trigger Dawson was killed, he hid his loot, leaving only a strange map to point to its whereabouts. Alabam and the boys of the Red Horse outfit are in possession of a part of the map and have followed its trail to a point on Roaring River. While Alabam and his party ride down into the canyon of Roaring River, the rest of the boys remain at the top of the cliff, awaiting their return. that banjo and guitar along Arizona. Sure is. We'd go crazy <laughs> sitting up here without something to do. Seems like a long time since Alabama and the boys started down that canyon, doesn't it? What do you suppose they're doing? Well, I ain't gonna sit up here waiting much longer, oh, but as man. long as we're here, come on. Sure, let's sing a little more. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a mine, yeah. dwelled a miner, 49er, and his daughter, Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. You are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry, Clementine. Like she was and like a fairy, and her shoes were number nine. Herring boxes without tops, sandals were for Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. You are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry, Clementine. Drove she ducklings to the water every morning just at nine. Hit her foot against the splitter, fell into the foaming brine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. You are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry, Clementine. Ruby lips above the water, blowing bubbles soft and fine. <laughs> Alas for me, I was no swimmer, so I lost my Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. You are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry, Clementine. In a churchyard near the canyon, where the myrtle doth entwine, there grow roses and other poses, fertilized by Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. You are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry, Clementine. 
Then the minor 49ers soon began to peak and pine. Though the otter joined his daughter, now he's with his Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry Clementine. Show is worried about Miss Alabama and that little boy Dewey. I'm riding old whirlwind down oh, there. Oh, listen, Cookie, we're getting worried over nothing. Let's just sing some more. Yeah, here. start us off on something, Arizona. Yeah. Sourwood Mountain. I've got a gal in the Sourwood Mountains. Ho de um de idle ye. She won't come and I won't call her. Ho de um de idle ye. Roosters are crowing in the Sourwood Mountain. Ho de um de idle ye. So many pretty gals I can't count them. Ho de um de idle ye. Big dogs bark and the little ones bite you. Ho de um de idle ye. Big girls court and the little ones fight you. Ho de um de idle ye. My true love lives up in Letcher. Ho de um de idle ye. She won't come and be darned if I'll fetch her. Ho de um de idle ye. My true love lives over the river. Ho de um de idle ye. Few more jumps and I'll be with her. Ho de um de idle ye. I got a gal at the head of the holler. Ho de um de idle ye. She won't come and I won't follow her. Ho de um de idle ye. <laughs> hey, now it's your turn, Cookie. Do yeah. you mean for me to sing? Sure, why not? Arizona will help you out with his guitar there. Well, well all I know is a blue song, and it make me feel powerful unhappy. <laughs> Listen to that. Cookie feels so low he could walk under a rattlesnake on stilts and never know the snake was there. <laughs> Say, how's that song go, Cookie? Drag me some cards on that get fit, Arizona. I'll show you. Said the blues ain't nothing but a good man a feeling bad. Mm, that's bad. <laughs> no, the blues ain't nothing but a good man a feeling bad. Oh, he sure got them blues, did he? But the the worst old feeling, honey, that I ever had. I went out to the graveyard and I fell down on my knees. I went out to the graveyard and I fell down on my knees. I said, listen you, Mr. Grave Digger, give me back my good gal, please. Then the grave digger turned around and he looked me right square in my two eyes. And the grave digger turned around and he looked me right square in my eyes. He said, listen here, Cookie, your gal done said her last goodbye. <laughs> Man, Whoa. that is low down. Oh, that's terrible. Say, Tenderfoot, don't suppose you yeah. see anything of the boys coming back, do you? No, I don't, Cheyenne. Seems a long time ago since Alabama and Idaho and Dewey and Bob rode down toward the river, doesn't it? Well, gosh, there ain't nothing down there to hurt them. Well. They couldn't have all slept and fell over the cliff into the river. Oh, <laughs> lousy, poor Mr. Alabama and uh, poor little Don't Dewey. let Arizona worry you, Cookie. I tell you, they may be headed up here right now with all of Dawson's loot. Thousands of dollars of it, Cookie, just loaded down. Well, just the same, I was worried, I is. Say, Cookie, let me show you something. What are you gonna do, Oh, Lord, there's somebody way over there, <laughs> Well, that wasn't nobody over there, Cookie. That was just an echo from the other sure, side of the canyon. Uh, go ahead and yodel us a tune, Tex, and sure. we'll kind of get double for money on this. Sure. Yeah. I need a I'll eat little Oh, eat little 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 Just a yodeling cowboy, as happy as I can be. Any depot or stockyard is home sweet home to me. 
have no cares like millionaires, no griefs to make me blue. Go my way from day to day and paddle my own canoe. Adi lodi lodi. Adi lodi. Oli lodi 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 lodi. Laugh at all my trouble, get younger every day. Never worry about myself, cause really it don't pay. Keep my troubles to myself and smile right through a tear. Hope that I never get old and live 10,000 years. Keep your horses hidden back here behind these trees, boys. Them riders are coming down the trail right across the river from where we are now. My golly, fellas, I can hardly believe my eyes. Would you look who's leading that outfit? It's Steve Bradford. You're right. I had an idea he was in on this. And if they know just where that loot's buried, they'll head right for it. Hey, Dewey, come back here. You better stay right here with us, Dewey. We don't want Bradford and his men to see any of us. I was just looking for where the loot was buried, Alabin. I can't find it. Well, you've got to be mighty careful, Dewey. Them men across the river there would like to get that loot, too. We mustn't let them know that we are here. Don't look like there's no danger of them seeing us. They're too busy with what they're doing. Look, that fellow's got a map, too. I bet you that's what it is. They seem to have some sort of direction there. Idaho, that must be the other half of this map. Yeah, I bet my right arm it is. Yes, sir. They seem to be satisfied with what they see on it. Now, what do you suppose they count on doing? They're leaving their horses and walking right down under the falls. But there couldn't be any loot hidden around there. But where did they go, Alabin? Did they walk right under the falls? They're plumb out of sight. Why, Jacks, I've got it. There's a cavern back under that fall. I said you were. Right. Say, if that's the case, it looks like it's all up for us then. There ain't no entrance from this side. We can't get in from this side of the falls. Well, but there's got to be some way of getting in there from this side. We can't let Bradford make off with that loot. Well, it's a sure thing we can't get across the river. Well, let's get up as near the falls as we can. If we can only get across the river and wait for Bradford to come out. No use trying that. It's from this side we've got to get into the cavern. Idaho, Bob, where's Dewey? Why, why, he was right behind us. Dewey, where are you? Dewey. Oh, he couldn't have just disappeared. Dewey, Dewey, where are you? Here I am, Alabin, here I am. But where are you, Dewey? Back here, up behind this bush. Come here, quick. Now, what do you suppose has got into that fella? What are you doing back there, Dewey? I found a little cave. See here, back of the bushes. By golly, it is a cave. Couldn't get huh? us through there, though. But where do we go? Here I am, inside the cave. Come on, back here, come on in. Why, that's no little cave. I tell you, boys, it must be a hidden entrance to that cabin. boys. Bradford's already ahead of you. And listen, folks, don't miss the next episode of Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> <laughs>